KHOU 11 Studios, this is H-Town Rush. America's favorite pastime is back in time for the 4th of July. The MLB has plans to start its season this summer without fans. And while fans are excited to watch their favorite teams again, some players are still having concerns. So we will break down both sides in just a few minutes. But for now, we want your thoughts on this. How do you feel about baseball without fans? Is the MLB doing the right thing? You can let us know on social media with the hashtag #HTownRush. For now, good morning, everyone. I'm Steph Simmons. We're going to say good morning to Cheetah Craft to take a look at that forecast. Well, good morning, guys. You are starting off mostly dry this morning, but rain returns beginning today. So this afternoon you will see the chance for a few showers. Live look over the Med Center. Gorgeous start though, not bad. We're starting off in the 60s, a few low 70s. By your lunchtime hour, 80 degrees, breezy. Wind gusts today up to about 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. So again, winds out of the south will pull in all that extra humidity. High temperatures today building to the mid to low 80s. So temperatures will be similar to yesterday, but relative humidity is up and so are the rain chances. Most of the rain now centered to our west. So we have several hours to continue to track this and monitor rain chances mainly impacting your late afternoon and evening. I'll have your hour by hour forecast in just a little bit. Chidi, you got it. Let's get you caught up now on this morning's coronavirus headlines. Here are three things that we are watching for you right now. White House staffers must now wear masks most of the time while at work. Two of the hardest hit states in the U.S. are ready to move forward. New York will let some non essential businesses in less affected areas open on Friday. And Louisiana will lift its stay at home order at the end of the week. Here at home, sadly, we've seen the youngest COVID-19 related death in the city. It was a boy between the age of 10 and 19 who had underlying health conditions. Right now, we want to spend some time really digging into these case numbers for you. Let's take a look at the local infection rate to date for the combined 19 counties in our region. So we have it all charted out for you starting two months ago and taking you all the way through yesterday. Big picture, yes, we are on a downward trend. Case numbers have lowered, but they're still very much in flux. But Sunday's dip, that caught our attention. Numbers dropped to 107 when they had been hovering closer to 300 cases per day. Yesterday, we rose again to 344. So what happened Sunday? Well, the Houston Health Department didn't report numbers Sunday. Instead, they released a combined total for Sunday and yesterday, and that bumped the numbers back to where they had been holding really for the past week. And it's reasons like this why we feel it is just so important to explain the numbers so that way you get the, the most accurate, concise, clear picture of the actual situation that's going on. Xavier, thank you. Well, locally, many of the cases are impacting senior living facilities and across the state, we've seen hundreds of deaths in, in nursing homes. Now, Governor Abbott has a new order to protect those communities. Janelle Fort explains. Well, yes, yeah, Steph, you know, this is something that hits very close to home for me. My 96 year old grandmother is in a nursing home in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and they've been on lockdown since early March here in Texas. Long term care residents make up about 47% of all coronavirus related deaths. So for those of us who do have loved ones in that vulnerable population, reopening the state amid the COVID-19 pandemic creates a lot of anxiety. One of the big pieces of Governor Abbott's plan to reopen is making sure testing is widely available. The governor has directed the Texas Health and Human Services Commission, Texas Division of Emergency Management, and the Texas Department of State Health Services to test every resident and staffer at Texas nursing homes. This order comes after a suggestion from the White House yesterday. Let's get into the numbers. As of yesterday, they have received reports of 281 nursing facilities and 100 assisting living facilities in Texas with one or more COVID-19 confirmed positive residents and or facility staff. HHSC has received reports of 425 resident deaths related to coronavirus in nursing facilities and 89 resident deaths in assistant living facilities located in Texas. There are 1,224 licensed nursing facilities and 2,004 licensed assistant living facilities statewide, and there is no timeline on when testing will be completed. Back to you. All right, Janelle Ford, thank you. Now let's get a look at the day's other big stores, starting with big changes for HVD following an officer's death. HPD's air support unit will be grounded until further notice. HPD's choppers haven't flown since the deadly crash last week that killed tactical flight officer Jason Knox and seriously wounded pilot Chase Cormier. 
The NTSB is still investigating the cause of the crash. In the meantime, DPS and local sheriff's agencies, air assets, are assisting HPD until they can safely fly again. President Trump calls the death of Ahmad Arbery a horrible thing. Would have been a wonderful, uh, I mean, just a wonderful guy. I think it's a horrible thing. I think it's a horrible thing. Arbery was shot and killed while running through a neighborhood in February. The suspects were arrested last week. Georgia's attorney general has appointed a new prosecutor in the case. Despite a legal battle, the company behind a Houston to Dallas bullet train says they're more on track than ever. A new court ruling says Texas Central can operate like a railroad taking private land under eminent domain laws. Construction hasn't started yet. Houston City Council member Letitia Plummer has tested positive for the coronavirus. She's now recovering at home, but says her symptoms are different, more like a stomach bug than respiratory issues. Oh, I feel like a AT wheeler hit me. Ready for summer. Typhoon Texas is hiring for its summer season. The water parks president says he plans to open and to operate between 25 and 50% capacity. The park is still working on added safety measures. And those are the big stories on this Tuesday morning.